Hi guys, in this video I'm going to explain to you the main components of a racing car. Now I've drawn here, what I've drawn here is the monocoque, which is basically the main part of the car. Here sits the driver. The driver will sit leaning back with his legs like that. His feet, his feet, sorry. And behind the driver you've got the fuel tank. And attached to the front end of the monocoque is basically the suspension. That's a top wishbone. And at the bottom you've got like something like the bottom wishbone basically. There you go. Oh, I got that wrong. Let's go something like that. And connecting these two wishbones is something called the upright. On it, you would have the brake disc and all that brake stuff or system. And then you would have the wheel and tires. Okay, there you go. And connected here to the front, you would have, I'm gonna simplify matter now, matters now, and I'm just gonna draw a front wing. Attached to the monocoque to the front, you'd have then the front aerodynamic system, which is basically the front wing. So that's the first half of the car. And this monocoque is very important because it's gotta be very stiff. It's gonna handle all those aerodynamic loads. It's gonna handle all those mechanical suspension loads all those shocks and, and bumps it gets from the road. It's gonna protect the driver in case of accidents. That's why this monocoque is very important. It's, today it's made of carbon fiber, very strong material, yet very light. Also very important is to avoid having that fuel burn in case of accidents and so on. So that monocoque is very critical to safety and very critical to uh, uh, car performance. Now, at the back of the of the car, you would have the mechanical package. I'm just going to change colors. Let me make red. So at the end, this end here, you would have the engine. I'm not going to do a. Uh, I'm not going to draw a V engine right now. I'm just going to draw a box, symbolizing the engine. And here comes a nice bit. Attached to that engine is the rear suspension. Okay, and then you. I'm just gonna draw a top push bone. Then you'd have the rear wheel like that. And of course, here at the back end, you'd have the transmission, which transmits the power via a drive shaft. Okay. Now, the nice bit about racing cars is that. The chassis doesn't go all the way back to the rear suspension. It stops here and the rest of the chassis is being made up by the engine. The engine in this case is acting as a chassis part. And today's engines all can handle those uh, chassis loads and transmit them to the, to the, to the, you know, to the, to the, to the monocoque. In the old days, like like in the, in the 60s, the monocoque used to go way back here, and the suspension would you know to attach the suspension would then attach to that monocoque. But since 1967, with the with the arrival of the Cosworth engine, this practice stopped because the Cosworth engine handled chassis loads. And thus, it was not necessary anymore to take the chassis all the way back there. And if I'm not mistaken, I think even before the Cosworth, this practice was uh, another engine uh, which, which could have handled those loads was the BRM H16 of 1966. Again here, I think with the BRM H16, if I'm not mistaken, the chassis also ended abruptly here and the engine took those chassis loads. So now we got the mechanical package. 
Now, added to that, mechanical package needs cooling. So we'd have here coolers. I'm just going to draw a radiator. Okay, there's a radiator. On the other side, a similar device would be, let's draw it, something like that. Okay. And those radiators are not left in the open, but are covered by bodywork, or basically the so-called side pods. Okay. There you go. There's one side pod, and the modern side pods normally taper back at the end. Okay, so basically, what happens is the air goes in here and goes out somewhere. In the 80s, it used to go out this way, now, it probably goes out this way at the back end, and so on. Okay, and then last but not least, you have the rear wing at the back of the car. So those are the main components of a racing car. And the funny bit is that those components haven't changed since uh, 1979. Basically, I'm just gonna rewind it. This is the monocoque. This is the suspension. Again, this would be the engine. And don't forget, in, in modern racing cars, the engine is acting as an extension to the chassis. It's taking chassis loads from here to here. So basically, racing cars don't have the chassis going all the way back. That, that, that extension is being handled, or that part is being handled by the engine. Okay, then you would have here the transmission. Cooling system is on the side, hasn't changed since, again, mid 70s. And older, before the mid 70s, used to be in the front of the car. Now, all cars have the cooling system here and on the side. Here's the fuel tank in the monocoque behind the driver. Use in, the, in the old days, fuel, the fuel, there used to be multiple fuel tanks in the car all around the driver. Again, since mid 1970s, fuel tanks been centralized behind the driver. And here at the front, you would have the front wing. And at the rear, obviously, the rear wing. So this is a short summary on the main components of a racing car, be it Formula One, Formula Three, what have you. They all follow the same principle. Now, obviously, aerodynamics and new technologies have arrived, but basically that setup still exists from 1979 until now.